Creating quizzes in the LMS is a great way for you to assess students' learning. Quizzes give you that extra benefit of automatic grading. To create a quiz, select Add Content and then Quiz. Give your assessment a name and then select a lesson topic you would like this assessment to fall under. Then press Add. This page is where you will enter a basic description and properties for this assessment. Now let's take a look at some very important advanced settings. First, you can specify the time limit for this assignment. You can specify an overall time limit or a limit for each question. Once you've made your selection, enter in your duration in minutes. As you go through each of these settings, you will see that a tooltip will pop up giving you a description of what each of these settings mean. Repetitions allow you to set how many times you would like your students to attempt this particular activity. If you select multiple repetitions, you also have the option to save each time the assessment was completed by the students. Next, you can enter the score that will be considered mastery for this assessment. The test password locks the assessment. Students will have to enter the password code that you give them in order to start and complete the test. Next, you can select what happens if the test is passed. The down arrow gives you some options. You can decide to show a message, show questions only, show the questions and the answers the students gave, show questions the answers the students gave along with their score, or you can show the questions, their answers, the scores, and the correct answers for those that they missed. I'm going to select show a message. I am now given the option to customize a special message for my students who pass this assessment. Next, you will select what happens if the test is not passed. Here, you have the same options as those above. You can show a message show questions only, show the questions with their answers, show the questions their answers along with the scores, show the questions the students answers their scores and the correct answer. The choice is up to you. Next, you can select your traversal options. One by one means that each question will show up individually on the display. Like in slide view, they will have to click next to move to the next question. Move forward will prevent students from going to previous questions. Submit on leave will submit the assignment once the student abandons the test or move away from the window. Force answer all will mean that students will have to place a response for each question before moving on. These are clickable and you can choose the options that you wish to apply to this particular assessment. Next, you will determine what you want to happen when students complete the assessment. They can either redo only wrong answers or receive immediate feedback. Next, you will select whether or not you would like your multiple choice answers 
and your questions within the assessment to be shuffled with each new attempt. Next, you can choose to display the number and the weight of each question. The splash screen is like a cover page for the assignment, giving students a brief description about the assessment and setting the tone for the quiz. Finally, you get to decide the test mode. Normal means that the assignment will be graded and counted towards a score. Self-assessment means that students can take the assignment, but it is not counted for a score. It's more like a check for understanding. Finally, click Save. Then you will be prompted to create your questions for the assessment.